Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a shakuhachi flute out of PVC pipe. Now for materials, it's pretty simple. You're only going to need two things, a 3 quarter inch PVC pipe and a 3 quarter inch coupler. However, for tools you'll need a few more things. A wood saw, 150 grit sandpaper, an electric drill, and a 3 8 inch drill bit. And now we're going to pretend that I didn't forget these things until later and remind you that you also need a tape measure and super glue. Now I am actually going to be substituting two of these tools for electric ones. This is mainly just for time's sake, but you can actually do this project without them. And specifically, I'm going to be substituting a sandpaper and a wood saw for a disc sander and a skill saw. Now, if you're going to be doing any sanding at all, which in this case we are, make sure you get a good dust mask. This will save your lungs, especially from the little tiny PVC plastic particles that are going to be floating up in the air. Please wear a dust mask. Here we mark the length of our flute to cut in just a second. And now we're going to take the super glue and spread it around one half of the inside of the coupler. And now we need to take one piece of the sandpaper and sand off the very top of our newly cut pipe. This will give the super glue something to grab onto and make it stick better. And now just put the coupler on the top, obviously glue side towards the pipe. Maybe give it a little love tap. Mm, not quite enough. Maybe just one more. Ah, uh, there we go. And now put even more super glue around the bottom side ring of the coupler. You can never be too careful. And now set it down and let the super glue dry for at least 5 to 10 minutes. And now we need to take it over to the sander and sand off just the top half of the coupler. But not before I almost forget to set my angle to 90 degrees. Eh, not quite. Make sure when you finish that the top of the pipe and the coupler sit flush with each other. If you're using a disc sander like me, this stuff gets everywhere, so make sure you clean off afterwards. And now we need to set our angle to 30 degrees. Oh, uh, uh, the other way around. And now we need to sand at that 30 degree angle until we see a notch starting to form at the top of the mouthpiece. Trim off the excess little bits. And now we need to set our angle to 75 degrees the opposite direction. And now we sand the opposite side of the mouthpiece from the side that we just sanded. That's a lot of sand. This only needs to be sanded until we've connected the peak of the other angle we just created. And if you know how, you can actually demo this mouthpiece right now to make sure it's working correctly, which I'll be showing you right now. Good. It does sound good, which is why we now need to start marking the holes for drilling. To start, we need to make a straight line down the dead center of the pipe with the mouthpiece lining up with it. 
I'm using this little I-beam to clasp to the side of the flute and make a perfectly straight line down the center of it. Now we need to measure out where the holes will be going, and all these measurements will be in the description. Remember that there's four holes on the front and one on the back, meaning that you'll need to mark one more line dead center of the back. Though it's not necessary, you can tap pilot holes to make it easier to drill. Now just clean off all the extra bits and it looks like you have a finished shakuhachi. Here's a few little tests for you. And with that, that is the completed shakuhachi flute. Now, you can do some aesthetic changes, but obviously it's not going to change any part of the sound. You can sand this down and paint it, but for right now I'm just going to leave this as is because I got to get to another tutorial.